hello friends in this particular short video session i am going to show you how you can work with spark and scala in databricks okay so after you successfully log in to your account you will be getting this kind of uh, web page that is welcome to databricks now first step is you have to create one cluster so here in the common task you will be getting new cluster click on that cluster name give any cluster name according to your choice i am giving one cluster name now create cluster just click on that now it is creating cluster obviously it will take some time uh, let us wait for that moment when it will be created it is so here see it is creating still it is in pending process the status is pending you can see until and unless you have created one cluster you cannot proceed with tables and other operations in um, databricks okay yep now see this is formed okay now again go to databricks now first step is to work with the uh, data sets we need to create one table right so create table option you will be getting click on that let me upload the table from my desktop so i will browse the table i will simply click on browse go to desktop go to the location where uh, desktop or what, whatever is your location where you store the file I am just clicking on that one uh, CSV file, CT dimension, and I am opening that. Okay, it is uploaded. Now, to create the table, there are two possible ways. One is create table using user interface. Another one is using notebook. Let me go with user interface. I am just clicking on that. Now, select cluster. The cluster just now we have made, we, it will be shown here. Like I have so, uh, made the cluster with the name Satadru, it is showing here. Click on that, and then click on preview table. Okay. You will get a lot of attributes and uh, some uh, simple things you can do here what you can do like table name you can give hello okay table name can only contain lowercase okay so let me give hello small letter and the database keep it default file type csv column delimiter in my case it is comma separated so i am giving comma first row is header yep a infer schema infer schema you have to check this otherwise if you not check this whole uh, basically each row will be taken as whole string instead of taking a schema now you have to just click on the create table okay now table will be created okay see table is created here schema it is showing city id city name state zone country and here the data set it is showing okay all right now let us make one notebook again go to databricks and then create a new no no notebook here i hope you can see here let me give workspace language you can choose according to your need like here i want to work with spark and scala so that i am choosing scala language and then create okay this uh, notebook will be open now what we have to do our table is created and the table name is what we have given table name hello so what we can do val e equal to spark dot sql this you have to write like uh, if you have worked with hyphen spark connection you may write hc dot sql where hc is this connection in between spark and uh, hive similarly here you have to write spark dot sql then inside double quote you just simply write the uh, query statement which you want to achieve and put that in data frame e okay so val e equal to spark dot sql select star from hello okay i am taking all the data set from hello to the e data frame okay now just uh, like uh, jupyter notebook run this part okay sending to cluster again it will take some time okay and as soon as it will yeah see it is successfully done now let me go to a, again another command 
prompt and now what we can do e dot print schema okay now if you click enter this schema should be shown see city id city name state zone country like that now simple operation like we do with data frames uh, like lots of things we can do like e dot show first five elements i want to get so show five okay if you click enter again it will send to cluster and it will show see uh, like table format it is showing so like that now further you can proceed with data frames concept whatever you know so i hope this is the beginning part is clear to you how to import data and how to create data frame and how to work with spark and scala combination in databricks this is all for my this video thank you for watching